Hey, what's up everyone? I'll be talking about everything that's been going on in the past while. So, I didn't know what else, I didn't know which other background to choose. I just searched bad fuck and then this is what came up. So, there has been so much going on first. Um, it's it's just I felt so bad on Friday that I don't I can't even begin to describe it. I just felt so just I, I mean it was just like the darkness and depression and my brain was seeing wrongly wrong. It wasn't seeing right at all and it was clouded vision, dark. That's the only way not to describe it. That's the only way. Just very dark, very like like dark to see everything. And it felt like there was something from the middle of my eyes all the way up into the top of the head, pressurizing, and my there was pressure in my head. I couldn't focus, couldn't think. Then I found out the Schumann resonance was off the charts, so maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. And I just went outside. I just laid down in the driveway, and just I, it felt hopeless, and everything just felt just insane. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And I've had that before, but it, it just, I don't, I don't know, I don't like that when that happens. But, before all that happened, um, our finances had went, gone into the negatives, and kept going down to the negatives because, you know, you have to pay things. Well then, suddenly, <laughs> not only that, but a whole very large limb hit the back of the vehicle knocked out the back light. And I thought, well, that's just lovely. But it didn't destroy the lights, just the cover. Thankfully, I found that out. Just the cover, not the third brake light, as they call it. But then, the, um, the headlight goes out. And I thought, really, another thing? The headlight suddenly went out when I went out there. But apparently, we went to Valvoline. They checked it. It was just a loose connection. Well, on Friday evening, right after the bank closed suddenly we get a notification a phone call and we tell them no we did not do these transactions someone had somehow or other copied our bank card and got the pin somehow overrided it and they took money out at an, at an ATM at a Holiday Inn in Chicago Illinois you know Chicago of all places which is a, a very, very, very crappy, it's horrible anymore. From what I see, it's just awful anymore. But, yeah, in Chicago, someone drew out money at an ATM, but the bank notified us. See, I have the mobile banking app where I can see when everything was done. So, I, I will, uh, I'll be able to, they'll be able to investigate, I hope. And they said that they will, they, you know, it was sent to the fraud department and they're investigating and they drew out $180, $160, sorry, $160 and then charged us $8 in fees and it was a total of $168 from the bank and they stopped it, they, were, they attempted another $83 and they were about to take out another 80 and then the bank stopped it and they blocked our card. And the next day we had to go to the bank and tell them about it and make us another card. And I had to add it to the accounts and everything because that's how we paid our bills and everything. Then, after that, um, after that, when we talked to them for a while, they told us, um, they told us that they would take care of it. And after investigation, if it's not back in the bank within seven to ten days, then we need to go to the bank and talk to them but I asked and they said that has been happening to a lot of people and then there were people locally who reported credit they had to stop all their credit cards and their debit cards there was credit and debit fraud there was um, people are with this especially with this AI they can do multiple see people don't think about that but these things can carry out multiple tasks at once not just one task but they can do 10,000 years worth of equations in mere milliseconds. And people don't even, they don't understand or comprehend it, but that's what, that's what we're dealing with now. And hackers can now use this AI to, to be even better than ever and more efficient than ever. 
coding, hacking, you name it, they can do it in milliseconds. And so our, our uh, not the bank account, thank goodness, but the card was copied. And whoever that was, since they know the exact time now, and the exact date, and location, and ATM, I hope they can find out now exactly and look on the camera and see exactly who attempted and got away with $168 and got away with getting uh, and tr that much and tried to get another 80 out. So I hope they find who it was. But that's what happened. And on top of that, everything was messing up. So, I mean, it was just, and our cats, everything just keeps, you know, certain cats just keep passing away. It's just really weird or something getting them. Strange things around me again, and it's been, uh, I mean, I was so, I was, in, I felt so awful. Then I got cold chills and ached in this heat. I mean, think about it, this heat, and I'm getting cold chills. And then the air conditioner, uh, uh, it's, it's, it started leaking into the house again so I have until next Friday to uh, I, before I can take it but they told me I can get a rebate a recovery rebate credit they told me they'll send the rebate in the mail if I purchase it at full price they'll give me the rebate of I think four hundred twenty three dollars is all they'll give but that's the amount that they offered they told me they would give and they will give it back in the mail. I hope that's true. I hope they actually do what they say. But since it's going to be like 110 real feel next week, 106 to 110 by next Friday, actual temperature is going to be like 98 to 100. I'm definitely going to need that. Definitely going to need that uh, air conditioning. But yeah, it went out. Or, well, it's working, but I mean, I have to keep it on, I have to turn it off every so often, like all the time, turn it on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, because otherwise it will mess up and leak, and it was leaking into the house again, so I had to, I had to shut it off, but, I've got it up on 68 right now, which makes it like, I don't know, 80 degrees in the house, but. It's still 84 outside at 10.30 at night. But we're going to have to leave in a little while. So I hope and pray that things get better. Because there's been a lot going on. I've had this migraine too that won't go away. It goes from the middle of my, the front of my head all the way to the back. Seems like nothing but crazy news has happened. There's been a few good news bits, a few, a few blessings, but it's been crazy. All right, that's what's going on. Thank you, and I love you so much. Bye.